hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe on the button and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial today i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started so over here i'm using 4x4 four four inches for social media and the resolution is um, 300 so now what we are going to do in this particular design now so the first thing we are going to copy the s code that is our color code so ctrl plus c to copy or you can right click then you see copy over here then you copy okay so having copied it then we have to go to our solid color over here then you click on the solid color and now right click over here then i'm paste or just press ctrl plus v to paste automatically so this is our background color now so the next thing we are going to do now after i've written this so we are going to bring in our church logo and in this resource file these are the material we are going to use in this tutorial today okay so import this one then you drag it position it over here go to the test document and i will copy the name of the church ctrl plus c to copy as you know then over here i'm going to paste ctrl plus v to paste then over here i'm going to select the left alignment and uh, close the space something this way is okay that is 17 percent then i'm going to change the font and the font i'm going to use over here is universal serif so i'm going to type the font over here and this is the font over here universal serif then i'm going to select it then and reduce the font size something like this it's okay then select your rent angle draw a rent angle over here then and i'm going to change the color to something yellow then you leave it like this okay so having grade this one now the next one we are going to grade we are going to copy this one over here then select your test tool or you can duplicate this one then i will select this one drag it over here to duplicate it now bring it over here select it then you can go to select on the menu and select all now ctrl plus v to paste something like this okay so having done this one now the next one we are going to do then is to make a copy then for the dates and the time so over here i'm going to make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy then and i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate or you drag it over here as i earlier said bring it down like this then select it select your test tool over here then you select your test tool highlight it then ctrl plus v to paste
then increase the font something like this Okay, now I'm going to draw another rectangle over here. Then select the yellow color. Then this color, I'm going to remove it. Let it be like this. Then on this one, I'm going back to select this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. Now reduce the font size. Then position it over here. Align it together. Alright. Then I'm going to select the test tool and here i'm going to type my time then reduce the size then for now i'm going to zoom in okay then come back over here and i will copy this one then duplicate the test over then then you bring it down select your test tool then come over here to highlight it then ctrl plus v to paste now increase the size then go back to your tests and make a copy of this one then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste then reduce the font size position it over here increase it a little Then hold your sheet key while you select this one. Then use your arrow key then to bring it down. So now we are done with this one. So the next one we are going to do then is to make a copy for the location. Then select your test tool over here. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now reduce the font size. Position it over here. Then and the space, I'm going to increase it by 6%. It's too much. Then change it to 5%. All right. Then I light this one, and I will change the font color to white. So why this one will be yellow? okay so we are coming back to this position now select your test tool over here then we are going to type dominion and i will change the font to cage 
Then the character spacing, I'm going to minus it by 60%. okay then on the test now then i'm going to apply a blending option then go to your gradient tool and this is the the color i'm going to use on it and over here is the color code then apply a drop shadow so on this drop shadow, then I'm going to make use of this setting over here. Then click OK. All right. Then now the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to going back to the background and um, I'm going to import this one. But before then, I'm going to turn this one off. Then why I'm going to import this white background. Then you take it up over here, scale it out. Okay, so having scaled this one out now, so the next one then is to turn this one on. Then I will position it around here. Yeah, it's okay. Then, and the next one, I'm going to apply a layer mask. Then select your gradient tool. Then ensure that over here is black and white. Then I'm going to blend it over here and over here. Something like this. All right. So having done this one now, the next one, then is to also apply a layer mask to this one and blend it okay then we are going to import this speed here Then at this position, I'm going to leave it around here. All right, then change the blending mode to overlay. Then you will have something like this. Okay, so having done this one, then the next one now, this one should be at the bottom of this one. So why this one is at the top, then I'm going back to this position. Why I'm going to import this light here. Then at the exposition, and I'm going to reduce the opacity to 50%. Okay, then change the blending mode to luminosity then you will have something like this okay now apply your layer mask select your gradient tool to blend the top here and the bottom over here now i'm going back to this one then i will blend it okay something like this because i want this light to come out well okay then and my test over here then I will drag it up I will bring this one down to this position this is where it's supposed to be and my church logo okay so now you can see it then I'm going to reduce the font size, something like this. Okay. Then I'll bring this one over here and increase the size, something like this. 
then now i'm going to apply a gradient overlay then and over here is this is the color code so i'm going to copy it then select this one Ctrl plus V to paste. Then come over here and copy this one. Select it. Ctrl plus V to paste. All right. So here it is. So now having done this one now, so the next one we are going to do then is to bring our image. Before that, I'm going to put this thing in order. Then I will bring this one down to this position. Okay. Then our image now. So the first one, I will bring this one. Then rasterize it. Or you can leave it this way. Then go, come over here to select this one and then apply this one to remove the background. Now apply your layer mask. So remove it. Then reduce the size. Something like this. Then I'm going to convert it to smart object. Then after this one, then I'm going to import this one. Reduce the size. Then increase it like this. And this one, reduce the size. Then now we drag this one back over here. So let it be behind them. Okay, then having done this one now, the next one I'm going to do then is to import this one. Reduce the size. And position it like this. So hold your shift key while you select them. And now we position them within the center here. Right, something like this and now the next one I'm going to do is to apply name to them so I'm going to select a rectangle something like this and over here is the color I'm going to use so this is the color code ctrl plus v to paste Sorry, that is not the color. I think this is the color, the first one. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now go to their names. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to break it, reduce the size, something like this. Then I'm going to zoom out to see the outcome of it. All right. Then come back to continue. And what I will do now, then I will hold my shift key while I select this one. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. And now we are going to move it this way. Then come over here to make a copy. Then select all. Ctrl plus V to paste. So do the same thing to the rest. And one thing, I'm going to remove the character spacing to 0%.
all right so now we are done with the name so the next one now then i'm going to select it all then use your arrow key then to bring it down this way okay so then the next one we are coming to to do now then is the other image so then come over here to import this one then reduce the size Okay, so this way, now the next thing we are going to do now, then we are going back to our background over here. And um, we are going to create a, a cycle. Then or over here, then now I'm going to select my earliest two then hold your shift key then and draw a perfect cycle take it back all right so okay like this then this one i'm going to duplicate it then and this one then i'm going to copy this color code which i copy earlier so this one then double click to apply on it then i'll position this one somewhere around here then on this one i'm going to duplicate it drag it over here to duplicate it and now you bring it down this way okay now so the first one now is this one so we are going to apply this image so you bring it down like this now right click and create a clipping mask then you will have something like this now select this one then apply this one increase it then this one i'm going to filter select your blog gaussian blog then and apply 5.6 then click ok now change it to change the bloody mode to overlay now apply your clipping mask then this background here remember we are going to change the color to something red not that red so we are using this same color over here then control plus v to paste then this one i'm going to increase it then increase this one this way now for the time and dates we are going back to that place select it something like this then we are going to change this color now hold your shift key while you select it then select your test tool then change the color to white
select this one and apply white color so go back to this light and i'm going to increase it something like this okay now then come back to this date again and i'm going to increase it this way then go to your test document i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to click over here then i'm going to type post then reduce the font size zoom in Ctrl plus J to duplicate, then select all, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to cut this one, Ctrl plus X to cut. Then make a duplicate of this one. Then select all, Ctrl plus V to paste. Now hold your shift key while you select this one. Then apply center alignment. Then you will have something like this. Then better off Then I'm going to use something like this. Okay, then the host, I'm going to reduce the size for this one. And I'm going to change the font color to the gradient overlay. And over here, this is the color code. So copy this one. Then come to your color, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then select this one and click on this one, Ctrl plus V to paste, then apply on it. Okay. So what I will do now, right click, then to copy the layer style, select this one, then right click and paste the layer style. Also the same thing to this one. So, all right, so the adjustment I'm going to apply now, and I'm going to apply adjustment on this one. So that is it. And on this one, also adjust it. Use your arrow key then to drag it up to align it with this one all right guys so we have come to an end of this tutorial don't forget to like then subscribe and share and also the important things you turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video so i will link all the resources i use in this tutorial in the description so that you can download and make use of them then if you need any of my flyer then there is a link provided in the description which is fiber account then you can order any of your fiber any and you can order any of your flyer through my fiber account the link is provided in the descriptions and if you want to optimize your youtube channel or any other channel then you can use tubebuddy then to optimize your channel the link is also in the descriptions you can create your account or your fiber account then and order your flyer thank you so much and don't also forget to follow or join my membership channel thank you and i really appreciate you guys for your for watching my video
Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like and then subscribe.